Hey, this is Mr. Barr, and this is an IXL that deals with scatter plots best fit lines. Now, I'm going to give you some really weird instructions here. Look at this guy. I need two things in order to build a slope intercept equation. I need a y, I'm trying to build y equals mx plus b. I need the slope, and I need the y intercept. And when you're looking at this graph right here, you're noticing that the y intercept isn't showing up. This is the x-intercept. I need a y-intercept over here. This line would come down here and eventually cross the y-axis. So here's what I'm telling you to do. If you get one like this, you're just going to get it wrong. Ready? I'm going to submit my answer. You sure? Yes. It's wrong. I get it. Go on to another one. Got it. This one I can do. So we're going to do this one. We're only going to do the ones that have a good y-intercept. So here's my rise and my run. So what is that? My rise and my run, see the rise is 1, 2, 3, 4, and the run is 6. So there's my rise and run, and my intercept is at 4. So let's put it all together. This reduces to 2 thirds. So y equals 2 thirds. Boy, come on, clean it up, Mr. Barr. y equals 2 thirds x plus Four, I type that in, y equals two thirds x plus four. y equals two thirds x plus four, submit it. Can I do this one? I've got a good y intercept, so I'm going to do it. Let's see, the slope is, oh, look at that. It's a nice happy seven over seven. So do you see that? Rise of seven, run of seven, so the slope. So m is 7 over 7, which equals 1. b, the y-intercept, is at 7. So y equals x plus 7. 1x plus 7. It's a nice good one. y equals x plus 7. But there's an error. Where's the error? It's a negative slope. So let's add a negative to it right there. Negative slope. Good work. Oh, this one I can do. Nice. So there's my run, and there's my rise. So it looks like it's 2 over 9. Is that my slope? m equals 2 over 9, and the intercept is at 5. So 2 over 9 is 5, so y equals 2 ninths x plus 5. So y equals 2 ninths x plus 5. y equals 2 ninths x plus 5. Notice I'm using a whiteboard. I'm not doing this in my head. Great job. This one. That's an x-intercept. I'm not going to do it. Get it wrong. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. I understand. Got it. Oh, this one. I don't have it. Get it wrong. Submit. Yeah, 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 yeah. See, look at all their stuff. Got it. This one, submit. Get it wrong. Doesn't have a y-intercept. Yeah, 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 yeah. And I'm not going to teach the algebraic method for doing this. Hey, this one's a good one. This will be my last one. Let's see. Rise over run. What's the rise? One, two, three, four, five. 5 and a run of 9, right? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Or you can just look at the numbers at the bottom. There's my slope. And the intercept's at 8. So y equals 5 ninths x plus 8. And a negative line, negative line. So it's a negative slope. y equals, my lights just went out. I can still finish this problem. Negative. 5 ninths x plus 8. Excellent! So some people are probably asking, hey, Mr. Barr, why aren't you going to teach the method for finding are the equations when I can't see the y-intercept? And my answer to that is because that much effort, because the algebraic manipulation is really 
it's going to be beyond what a majority of my students are going to be able to do well. And I know you can do everything for my test just by graphing it or graphically. And I know that the state test also doesn't require you to solve it algebraically. So we're going to just stick with this graphical method. All right. And I wish IXL kind of would let me parse them out um, or split this into two different topics, but they don't. So that's it. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. I'm going to go wiggle so my lights come back on.